Everybody hear that? Say that to yourselves. Now, same thing, you're going to pass fake and go back to where it came from. Becky Francis is the second winningest women's basketball coach in Oakland University history, having led the Golden Grizzlies to five league titles and two NCAA appearances during her dozen years in charge. But as Francis readies her latest team for a new season, she has decided to go public with a most private and painful secret. Francis says she was sexually abused by her father, who is now deceased, for the better part of a decade while she was a child. It, it happened to me and for many years. And I like to look forward and, and try to use the, the blessings that God has given me with this position, you know, being a basketball coach and, and where I am in society right now and the fact that I've dealt with with my abuse and I'm confident enough in myself and comfortable enough in my skin that I can be a voice for those who can't talk about it. Francis has shared her story at a church and with her players. Now though, emboldened by the Jerry Sandusky scandal at Penn State and by similar tales of abuse elsewhere, she is speaking up to a wider audience. Being a survivor and knowing what that's like, you know, what victims feel like, I think that case and all other cases that have been in national news and situations, it, it's such a topic that no one wants to talk about and everyone's embarrassed and everyone tries to just, you know, cover it up and it's something that I love when the news covers it. I love when the media is talking about it because nobody wants to talk about it. And the more awareness and the more that people are educated about the topic, the more kids can be protected. Everybody crashes! Everybody crashes! Everybody crashes! Good job, oh! Now the unquestioned leader of a perennially successful hoops program, Frances remembers how the abuse she suffered impacted her on and off the court for many years. And so I share this with my players because I wish somebody shared it with me. When I entered college, I played college basketball, and I had to play in a code of silence and shame. It affected my free throw percentage, I know it. Because every time I got in the free throw line, I felt like everybody was staring at me, and I had abuse over my forehead. I was so embarrassed. Inspired by candid survivors of sexual abuse, Frances not only is talking to the Associated Press about her haunting childhood, she's hosting an event this week on the Oakland campus designed to bring attention to the topic. And I was in total denial until maybe my 30s. And that's another example of why I want to talk, out, talk about this because I know that people are so embarrassed and they think Oh, I'm just going to forget about it. It was in the past. Move on. Buck, buck up. Suck it up. But there's so many things that it can affect your health. It just affects your confidence. And I, since I have just let it go, I am, I am happier and healthier than I've ever been. I am totally free. Thanks to therapy, her religious faith, and the love and support of her friends and family, Frances says she's driven to leave behind the anguish and embarrassment of her past and to focus her energy on helping sexual abuse victims realize that they are not alone. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Rochester, Michigan. Beautiful.